In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite passing concepts that you can use whenever your opponent is running a significant amount of Mabel coverage or double flatting or utilizing yellow zones even to kind of slow down maybe your slant post combos out of the trips tight end formation. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel. I also want to let you know that if you have not already joined our Patreon membership, that is uh, the place where you can get access to every ebook that I've released so far for the Madden 22 season. And you'll also, while your subscription's active, gain access to any additional ebooks that I will release in the future, as well as any updates that we release over the course of the time that your subscription is active. So the cool part about the Patreon is you get 15 Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides for just $10 a month. And again, you get any updates to those. We update the guides typically once a week uh, or a couple times a week, typically. Uh, but anyways, if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description below. Uh, it's got the best up-to-date stuff defensively, offensively in the game. It kind of really walks through some stuff. We actually have a really cool film study that we're going to be doing um, in the coming, probably in the next couple of days on Henry's Madden uh, Championship, how his defense was able to get a key stop against Wesley and kind of analyzing some of his game. So if you want to get that again, it's all available down in the description. And today we're talking specifically about a coverage or a, um, a concept that you can use to kind of combat. One of the coverages that I'm honestly seeing a lot right now against trips tied in, um, and that is cover four as well as kind of a cover three and then with a heavy user on a crossing route type of situation. So we're going to show that out of drive post out of the New England Patriots playbook. And again, if you want to get the trips tied in ebook, just join the Patreon. There's a link down below. Now, uh, from a cover four perspective, cover four, typically what you're going to get with this is if someone is playing and they're say they're, um, you know, defensive game plan is they're going to use her the left side with this hook curl. And then they've got this hook curl over here so that they can stop a slant. And then they've got this purple that they can pass the slant off to. Now, typically what that means is they're going to take this guy and they're going to put him into a 30 yard cloud. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to illustrate that because we still don't have zone drops in practice mode, but I want to showcase this drive post. Now this post route goes right about 20 yards, and the, but you also have this little ghost route to the back. You don't have to have high route master to create it. You just have it, which is nice. So what I like to do off of this is we're just going to simply block our tight end. We're going to flat our left of screen slot receiver. And then you can either leave this route to Mike Evans or you can just put him on an in route, as you can see right here. So this is kind of the concept that we're creating. And what you're going to notice here with this uh, with this post is that the cloud will actually suck down to the little um, underneath pattern. And you'll be able to hit that over the top. Now, the other thing that I want you to notice about the post in particularly is, let's say that they just run basic cover four. Notice this real quick. You're going to see that he's only running about 20 yards. So if they have a 30-yard cloud, even a 25-yard cloud, he's going to get pulled back significantly further than the running back is going to run, which is, which is critical uh, for what we're going to want to do. So let's say you get a base align and press cover four drop. This is another popular uh, concept. The beauty of drive post is this post is a, it's not quite a deep post, right? It's not a deep crosser even. So what you'll see is it really does run like a little bit of a deeper slant and you can low ball it on the sidelines so well that it makes it really difficult for the, the opponent to be able to use with that um, consistently. Now let's say they run a little bit of a baseline and press with a cloud up there. I just want to show uh, what that might look like. And what you're going to see is, again, that cloud is going to suck down and you've got that throw over the top. One of the other things that a lot of people are running right now against trips tight end is they're running uh, kind of a Tampa 2 setup like this, where they basically leverage the power of this cloud to stop a tight end press post. Well, the cool part about this setup is that, again, your cloud is not gonna, is gonna always get sucked down to that if it's not zone dropped. If it is zone dropped, it's gonna drop typically deeper than that post route is gonna run. Now, the last coverage that really gives us trouble, well, uh, two, two other coverages real quick. So the second coverage that gives us a little bit of trouble is a cover three. Now, typically what you're going to get if they're going to run a cover three is they're going to run a cover three over here. So they're going to use a hook curl and a curl flat. 
And then more than likely, this guy could be in a number of different zones, honestly. He really can. Um, and then you're typically going to get some kind of, um, you know, some kind of maybe cover two potential over here. Uh, what they like to do a lot is, you know, maybe a cross man on the tight end, for example. You, there's a lot of things you could get because they're going to typically use her right in here. And again, they're trying to get you to throw into this hook curl and this curl flat. Now, if we were to run a slant concept like this, just using a standard slant route, what you'll notice is that this curl flat um, does a decent job. It doesn't do a great job, but it does a decent job. If they zone drop that at about 10 yards, it can be a little dicey to throw that. You saw there I was able to complete it, which most of the time you are. But the beauty of this drive post is it gets a little bit deeper than what they're going to want to do from a defensive perspective. And so the beauty of this is this curl flat isn't going to stop it, neither will the outside third. And you're going to see that you have that throw on the sideline. So it's a little wrinkle that you can add into your offense. You know, when you start playing some of the best players in the world, they're going to adjust to some of your power concepts, you know, your slant post or your crosser in route, right? Now you've got this little kind of, Again, it's not quite a post, it's not quite a slant, it's kind of an in-between route, and it really does well. Now, again, I, like I said, it's not, it's not a post, it's not a slant. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean this. So, like, I'm going to put a post out there, Hot Route Master Post, and I just want you to watch how deep it's going to get. You're going to see here that it's going to go about 30 yards. So if they have a 30-yard cloud, that's going to be kind of right in that little wheelhouse uh, of being able to stop that. However... When you run it like this, and it's just a stock drive post route, you're only going, you're going to see a major difference here. Now, we're barely even getting to 20 yards as opposed to being at 30. So it's a 10-yard swing in terms of how we're going to attack the zone drops in that regard. The other cool part about this is we still have our concept on the backside, one of the best little underneath passing concepts in the game, a little flat, a little in route. You see that if it's a curl flat zone, it is going to get sucked inside by the flat and then you can easily throw it so again here this is cover three you see he gets sucked inside another thing real quick is that you want to you can also have a ton of success with this if you're on the left hash just as if you're on the right hash um let me show you what i'm talking about i'm just going to move the ball over here for just a second i think the flat works a lot better to the short side than it does to the wide side of the field but let's say they're running something like, you know, got two purples. Like this is a very popular cover. Just a coverage that could give slant post a little problem because they got the purple over there to try to hang with that, right? Well, now you've got this post. And this post really does a good job of cooking man. And you see you got a lot of room now to work over on that side. The other cool part about this route is you can pass lead this in almost a 10-yard swing of itself. So what I mean by that is... If I low ball and pass lead down and away, then this is going to go right about there. So that's about 20 yards. However, if I angle my, my pass trajectory and I say, you know what, we want to try to, maybe they're not playing 30-yard clouds, right? And we want to try to get over the top. Now I can go up into the outside and you see it's a little different. So the, the point is the pass lead can kind of shift based on the situation. Now I talked about man coverage and then the last coverage that I wanted to cover with you today is match um, coverage and again all we're trying to do is force their user to be in conflict is he gonna guard that post or is he gonna guard the in route most of the time okay most of the time they're not gonna guard they're gonna guard that post but when they see that in route they're gonna come underneath on the in route almost every single time okay and so what that's gonna do for your offense they're gonna come down to the in route so now you've got this whole sideline over here where we can work that and the beauty of that is, again, he's going to get underneath some of the best defensive schemes that exist in this game right now. Most of the time, they're not going to cover it. If they do, so they have to carry that. And if they carry that, then they're out in the middle of the field, and you can throw your drive post. See here, when we run to the wide side, see how cover two is a little bit more effective. Um, that's just something I wanted to quickly point out to you. When you run this to the, when you run this with your trips to the short side, in my opinion. Cover two is significantly better, and now you're really looking more. See how that ghost route doesn't quite pull, and you see that you get kind of something like that. That's not what we want. So that's why, in general, I like to run this to the other hash. But you can, if you're going to run it over here, 
you might consider if you have any inclination that they might be just doing some basic cover two, put him on a slant route. And what you'll see, or smart route the post, it'll get a little deeper. But what you'll see here is you can low ball it. Um, and of course, throw it a little bit too late. But um, anyway, that's kind of the idea with the concept. And then again, like I said, if you're really worried that, you know, if you, if you know they're not in 30 yard clouds, and again, you know, it's kind of a tendency thing. See, you can smart route the route and it will go deeper. And what you'll see now is it'll get over the top of that cloud, typically right in that little pocket. So for my money, this definitely works better with your trips to the wide side of the field. Notice the difference between how the relationship between the ghost route and the cloud flat works if it's over there. So now we're on the same exact coverage, but now we're over on this hash. And you're going to notice it works completely differently. Watch the cloud. He's going to suck down to the running back. See him suck right down. And then he's too late. He can't recover. And you can throw that right over his head. So that is, um, you know, this simple concept. I love this play. I really do. It's one of my favorite concepts in the game. This little route, honestly, I leave this route over here to Evans a lot. Um, I think it's pretty good because I think it actually sucks the curl flat in a little bit more than your standard in route. So you can mess around with that if you'd like to. But again, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to get my full ebook on Trips Tied In, join our Patreon. Everything's in there. It's not just Trips Tied In ebook, but we've got 15 offensive and defensive guides. I've also got a ton of updates in there for all those ebooks. We've got more ebooks on the way. So as long as your subscription is active, 10 bucks a month, super cheap. So as long as your subscription is active, you're going to get access to all of that content. So again, if you want to join that, there's a link in the description below. You can go down and click that link, and it'll take you right over, and you can check out the membership.